here you see so many houses. Well, the roofs anyway. They make neat patterns. I like the old houses best. That one, for instance. It's all stained glass, brick and stone. Beautiful. I'd rather live in something smaller. A bungalow, perhaps? Nope, too big. Well, they don't come much smaller than these. Wanna bet? This one'll do just fine. A nest? Why not? It's warm and dry, and it smells good inside. The need for shelter is something we share with many birds and animals. Few of us are born with a house on our back, and so we have to build one. If you don't know how, or can't be bothered, then have someone build it for you. Some don't care where they live. It's not important. But for others, a shelter is one of the most valuable things they own. This is the way people are building their shelters these days. They come in many designs and colors. They look different from some of the earlier models. A Viking house built hundreds of years ago. A stone house in an old mining town. A wooden farmhouse. And another. We found many ways of putting materials together to make comfortable, warm houses. And like the birds and animals, some of us live very close to each other. That's why there are towns and cities. But over the years, as our cities got older, many of the houses began to fall apart. They had to be renovated or fixed up. Some people moved from this old housing into new apartment buildings. Here was another kind of house, several families living under one roof together. I guess the people got used to living closer together. What's wrong with that? Even mice like a little company. The cities grew bigger and bigger. But not nearly as fast as today. Fifty years ago, many people still built their own houses. This was hard labor. The builders used the skills their ancestors had used a hundred years earlier when they put up houses like these. In the past, a builder might work on only one house at a time. He'd pay more attention to little details than we do. That's why many older houses are so fancy. Today, we can change a farmer's field into a neighborhood in a matter of months. We build very quickly. Before the houses go up though, a lot of planning is done. A model is made of the area, something like the one they're building here. <laughs> All the buildings and streets are laid out. It's a big job arranging a whole neighborhood. Trees and parks go on the model, too. An architect makes larger models of the houses. This way, people will know how they're going to look once they're built. This is the kind of house I want to live in someday. A doll's house? It's kind of small. I mean, I want to live in a house that looks like this. In some places, the cost of land is so high, you might have to settle for a small house. Nowadays, fewer big houses are being built, and people are living much closer to each other, especially in cities. Houses are built to make money, so the faster they go up, the better. 
Once the city gives permission, no time is wasted. The foundations go in first. They're made from concrete and keep the house from falling over. Some early buildings were constructed without foundations. A couple of layers of stone were laid right on the ground. The stones kept the bottom of the walls from rotting. After a while, though, the ground began to settle. The walls cracked and fell over. With a good foundation, this won't happen. The floor is laid on top of the foundation. And then the walls go up. Walls can take a long time to build. The plumbing and electric wiring is installed. This work is done carefully. The pipes and wires are inside the walls. If a mistake is made, the walls will have to be torn down. The insulation is next. This will keep the house warm in winter. Now for the roof. To do this job, you can't be afraid of heights. The roof is closed in. Later, roofing materials or shingles will be put on. We can clearly see the shape of the houses now. They're ready to be covered in bricks. It'd be fun to build a house. It would? Think of all the work you'd have to do. You'd have to lift heavy things, hammer nails in straight, reach up high, drive heavy equipment, that sort of thing. It's not an easy job. Well, maybe we can't build a house, but we can design one. That's a little easier. Yes, you could draw a plan for a house of your own. Or look at drawings of houses other people have done. You can learn a lot from paintings about old houses and the people who used to live in them. What kind of furniture did they have? How did they decorate their houses? You could build a model house or a birdhouse. This one's made from sticks and glue. If you could live in any kind of house you wanted, what would it look like? And where would you build it?